Welcome to the Office of the Treasurer and Tax Collector's 2020 Annual Business Tax Commercial Rents Tax Return Video. This video provides a quick summary of the Commercial Rents Tax Online Return Form. Please review our online instructions and the Business Tax Code for detailed information. It's important to have all your business information available before you start. The letter you see from our office has your seven digit business account number and eight character online PIN. The online PIN is formatted with both letters and numbers. You will also need the last four digits of your federal tax identification number. For, for sole proprietors, your federal tax ID is usually your social security number. To begin, go to our homepage at www.sftreasure.org. Look at, look for and select the file annual business tax returns 2020. The landing page contains important information, including the instructions and a link to enter the filing. When you're ready, enter the filing by clicking the File Your Business Tax Returns 2020 button. Enter your seven digit business account number, the last four digits of your federal tax ID and your eight character online PIN. Then click on continue. Once you've entered the filing, you'll see your business account number and links to the instructions, technical assistance, and a link to exit the filing. On the bottom of the screen will be buttons to navigate forward and back. The filing begins with a filing questionnaire. There are seven initial questions which will help determine which returns you will have the option to file. Based on your answers to the initial seven questions, more questions may appear. You must answer all the questions in order to continue. The questions answered in this video are for demonstration purposes only. Remember to answer all the questions according to your business. The first question, did you and any related entities have taxable business personal property in San Francisco in tax year 2020? Select yes or no to answer. Question two asks, the average number of employees per week, including those employed outside San Francisco. Question three asks, number of San Francisco employees. Enter the number of San Francisco employees as of the last day of 2020. Legislation recently passed to provide pandemic relief to certain businesses that have reported 2019 gross receipts of less than $25 million. The following questions will help determine if you qualify for this relief. Question four asks whether you operate a restaurant or facility that prepares or serves food for delivery or carry out. Select yes or no to answer. Question five asks if any of the COVID-19 San Francisco health officer orders required your business to completely stop operating. Please answer yes, even if the closure was temporary. Question six asks if you received more than 50% of your 2019 combined San Francisco gross receipts from the business activities described in the two questions above. For example, if 70% of your 2019 receipts were from your hair salon and 30% were from your dog daycare and only the hair salon had to shut down, select yes. Select yes or no to answer. If you reported 2019 gross receipts of less than 25 million 
and more than 50% of your 2019 combined San Francisco gross receipts are from the business activities described in questions four and five, then you qualify for a lease. Question seven asks, are you filing as a lesser of residential real estate, i.e. a residential landlord? See instructions if you have additional business activities. If you answer no to question seven, four more questions will appear. The next question, are you claiming a tax credit, payroll exclusion, or limit? The city offers tax credits and exclusions for businesses that meet specific requirements. However, most credits and exclusions require prior qualifications and do not apply to most taxpayers. Select yes or no to answer. Question nine asks, are you filing on behalf of a combined group of related entities or are you an entity that was part of a combined group for any portion of the tax year? even if you are filing this return as a separate entity. Please refer to the instructions to determine if you're filing as a combined group. Most businesses do not have related entities or members and will answer no to this question. However, if you select yes, you'll be prompted to enter information on behalf of the members of the group. Select yes or no to answer. Question 10 asks, do you have commercial rents rent receipts to report, please note this includes subleases. See instructions for additional information. The commercial rents tax generally applies to businesses leasing commercial space in the city. This question identifies businesses that may owe commercial rent tax. Select yes or no to answer. Question 11 asks, did this business or any related entities as defined in code section 953.8C employ over 1,000 full or part-time people in the United States as of December 31st, 2020? Select yes or no to answer. When you've completed the questions, click save and continue. On this page, you will see the tax returns available for you to file. The annual business tax return form displays this tax filing menu page where you can choose to file all applicable taxes at the same time, or you can choose to file each tax independently during different sessions. You may not be subject to the commercial rent tax or homelessness gross receipts tax. For more information on who must file and pay these taxes, visit the Business Taxes and Fees section of our website at sftreasure.org. However, you are responsible for determining which of these taxes you are required to file and pay. If you are a gross receipts tax and payroll expense tax filer, you will see three lines. The gross receipts tax and homelessness gross receipts tax return. One line for the payroll expense tax return and one for the commercial rents tax return. If you have not filed a tax, if you have not yet filed a tax, you will see a file button. Click the file button to begin your return. If you have started but not submitted a return for a tax, you will see a continue filing button. Click this button to continue your return. If you have already submitted a return for a tax, you will see an amend button. Click this button to amend a previously filed return. You will also see a view prior submission button. Click this button to continue your return. Excuse me, click this button and it will open an HTML of your most recently filed return. Before filing your return, we will take a moment to update your business information to receive COVID communications. To update your business information to receive COVID-19 business communications, click this button. The City and County of San Francisco 
will provide will be providing the following information to businesses health orders and directives and COVID-19 resources. Please provide contact information for the person responsible for compliance with, with health orders. Name, phone number, and email address are required fields. Check the box to receive text messages at the phone number you provided. If you would like to receive communications at additional emails, Enter the name and email in the section below. You may also add a phone number. Check the box to receive text messages at the phone number you provided. Click Add Contact or the plus button to complete adding the additional contact information. Scroll down the page and click all the categories that apply to your business. If no categories apply to your business, leave the boxes blank. Finally, at the bottom, please check the box if you have less than 100 employees or are a sole proprietor. This will help determine which communications will be shared with your business. When complete, click the Submit button. Now, for purposes of this video, I will select to file the commercial rent tax return. Please read the following statement. The commercial rent tax, also referred to as the early care and education commercial rent tax, generally applies to businesses leasing commercial space in the city and generally does not apply to businesses exempt from gross receipts and payroll taxes. Click on the continue to proceed with the commercial rent tax return. The registered business locations associated with this business account number that is filing the return will be displayed. Select the location or location with commercial rents. A search bar is also provided to search for locations. If your location is not listed, you may add a location by clicking add new location. You may also select, I have no commercial rent tax to report, I am exempt from the commercial rent tax. When you, when you are finished making your selections, click continue. Commercial rent tax return. The first line is leased square footage of building. If you are reporting sublease receipts, report only the amount you are subleasing in the building. On the next line, from the drop down, select the nature of your interest in the building. We have provided owner, property manager, and tenant as options. Line one, enter all gross receipts from the lease or sublease of space at this location. Line two, enter all gross receipts included in line one from the lease of residential real estate. Line three, enter all gross receipts included in line one that are from space at this location used for industrial use. Line four, enter all gross receipts included in line one that are from space at this location used for arts activities. Line five, enter all gross receipts included in line one that are from space at this location used for retail sales or services, service activities or re retail sales or service establishments. Line six, enter all gross receipts included in line one that are received from exempt tenants, including governments 
in certain nonprofits. Line seven, enter all gross receipts that are included in line one that are from rent subject to the transient occupancy tax. Line eight, enter all gross receipts included in line one that are from rent subject to the parking tax. For line nine, the system will sum lines two through eight and display the result. These are the receipts that are not taxable under the commercial rent tax. Line 10, the system will subtract line nine from line one and display the result here. These are the receipts from the lease of taxable commercial space. Line 11, on, of the amount in line 10, enter all gross receipts that are from the lease of warehouse space. Line 12 through 14, the form will calculate the commercial rent tax for this location before credits. If you have additional locations for which to report receipts from this lease from the lease of commercial space, you will be taken to a new form for each location. If you do not have additional locations for which to report, you will be taken to the tax return summary page. Click save and continue when you're complete. This page summarizes the commercial rents tax return. Line one is the sum of all commercial rents tax for all locations before credits. Line two is tax credit. The code permits a credit against the commercial rents tax if you lease or provide commercial space in a property in the city for a qualifying childcare facility that operates for more than six months in a tax year. This requires you to upload a document to support claiming the credit. The system can only accept one uploaded document. So if you need to upload multiple documents, you will need to combine them into one document before uploading. And line three provides the total commercial rents tax for all locations. Below this is the taxpayer statement. Read this statement and finalize your filing by entering your name and contact information. The email address you enter will receive a copy of the return. When you are ready to submit your filing, select the Submit button. Once the confirmation screen appears, the return is submitted. Remember that you may be required to file other taxes as well. Click Continue to proceed. Courtesy Calculation. Next, you will see a Courtesy Calculation page. We are providing a courtesy calculation page for each tax you file. This page will show your principal, the sum of the estimated payments made in prior quarters. If you are filing late, it will also calculate any late filing, late payment, and interest calculations. The calculations displayed will not include recent payments or payments made to other annual business tax types. Click continue to proceed. You will then return to the tax return menu page where you will see additional tax returns available for you to file or amend. You are responsible for determining which of these additional taxes you are required to file and pay. Once you are finished filing all required returns, you are ready to click the proceed to pay button. Congratulations, you have now filed your 2020 commercial rinse tax return. Thanks for taking the time to learn more about filing your returns.